Andy Carruthers, silver medalists at the 1984 Winter Olympics in Sarajevo, and a man and woman who have done as much for American pairs figure skating as any other in the history of the sport. 1961. A girl, Kitty, and a boy, Peter, born to different families, adopted by Charles and Maureen Carruthers. These children were told early that they had been chosen from all the little babies in the world to be the Carruthers' son and daughter. A storybook beginning. Like most children, Kitty and Peter loved to play. Their parents opened the way toward athletics, and Peter showed strong ankles and powerful movement. Kitty seemed to have a dramatic flair for artistic impression. They were naturals. At home in Massachusetts, the kids learned to love winter, but since play space was limited to a front yard that bordered a street, Charles Carruthers was forced to build a safe haven for his children. Little could he have known that a makeshift skating rink would forever change their lives. My dad just spent hours and hours and hours in Boston in the below zero weather making that rink for us every year. And I guess it paid off, Dad. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It was like a winter wonderland for us. And we started skating because we really enjoyed it. We weren't taken to a cold rink <laughs> somewhere. You know, we had it right in our own backyard, so we were so spoiled right from the beginning with, with skating. Unlike so many skaters who lace up as soon as they are able to walk, Kitty and Peter began at ages 9 and 11. But what they lacked in background, they made up for with perseverance. And soon, brother and sister found themselves competing and winning. Junior titles. Regional titles. Then national and world competitions. In 1984, in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, Peter and Kitty reached the pinnacle of amateur athletics, a moment in the spotlight. At the Olympics in Sarajevo, the great thing about that was that all of the years of hard work had come together for six minutes of skating, and we could not have skated better that evening. And their final move, a pair sit spin. Oh, how nice they have done so well. No mistake. I think that the hug is for all the, the bad times as well as the good times when we look at each other and say, you know, I want to quit. <laughs> I can't do this and be really frustrated, as I'm sure most athletes get. But I think that was also for all the hard times as, as well as all the, the one great moment. That one great moment blossomed into a six-year tour with the Ice Cafe. Now on a new professional tour, living apart but still traveling the world together. Kitty and Peter remain attached to their unique roots and grateful to the people who chose the responsibility of nurturing them. Our folks gave us the opportunity to have what a lot of children don't have, and that is the chance to grow as people and become great athletes. But other than that, they just wanted us to excel at something and make something of ourselves. We had so much love in our family between our parents and with Peter and I. We're just so fortunate. Thankful for the love in their lives, Kitty and Peter hold a special place in their hearts for all children everywhere. To all the little children in the world who neither have a home or family, we hope someday you will be adopted by wonderful parents as we were.
the unique signature of Peter and Kitty Carruthers. Now about to take the ice for...